and we are really happy and looking forward to an exciting evening. Florence Okwadili, chair of the Coalition of Manitoba Cultural Communities for Families, welcomed participants to an evening of conversation about values. The coalition is bringing together community representatives with service providers and policymakers. Identifying and exploring shared core values and acting on them will improve understanding and communications across cultural divides, several speakers said at the event held January 30th at Daniel McIntyre Collegiate in Winnipeg. This event was facilitated by four cultural communities, Filipino, Ethiopian, South Asian Muslim, and Nigerian. The four communities engaged in a year-long process of mapping the values in their communities. The process we followed is that um, representatives of the, the four interested communities uh, planned um, uh, workshops to gather the information, uh, of course, with a uh, guide uh, provided by um, the coalition. And Mirat Zawudi, Excel Family and Youth, asked participants to choose values they hold and the values held in their community or organization. Ponder on this question. We have a set of values, a list of values on, for each table, and so you'll get an opportunity to pick from those. Um, which of the following values and behaviors most represent how your community or organization currently operates? Martin Itzko, Executive Director of the Coalition, asked participants to compare the values they hold in the first box with the values expressed by their communities or organizations in the second box. Do any of the words you select in the first box show up in the second box? If not, you're saying you are not living fully and completely in the organization that you belong to. Participants engaged in spirited discussions with each other about the values held by cultural communities and service providers. Jamila Nasso of Operation Ezra and Sarah Kirby of the Centre for Healthcare Innovation discussed how power can change the dynamic. Power? Like it's a very, I guess it depends how you use it also. But I think power can become a very destructive thing instead of a thing that really moves an organization, a community, a culture, really should be a yeah, yeah. like the team type of motto forward. Like I think that as the event concluded, participants used Lego blocks to build models representing the current state of relationships among service providers and community organizations. Then they built models models of what it would take to achieve better relationships. <laughs> this is Donald Benham on behalf of the Coalition of Manitoba Cultural Communities for Families.